Right now, we are fewer than six days away from the polls opening for Pennsylvania's primary election. While 19 local state representatives are unopposed this year, five local representatives are being challenged in their own party's primary on Tuesday. In his ongoing series on contested elections, KDK political editor John Delano takes a closer look at one of those races. For nearly 40 years, the Penn Hills area had but one state representative, Tony DeLuca. When he died in 2022, the 32nd District in Oakmont, Penn Hills, Verona, and half of Plum re-elected him posthumously. That led to a special election in February of 2023, when Joe McAndrew, a 33-year-old legislative and party staffer, was elected in a special election after he was chosen by a ballot of party committee people to be the nominee. It was a big generational shift from the 85-year-old DeLuca. We really need somebody who is going to look at what those needs are for our, you know, my generation and, and the generation below and above me and making sure that there's opportunity for people. McAndrew's Democratic primary challenger is Pauline Calabrese, the mayor of Penn Hills and a 63-year-old attorney. Calabrese says McAndrew was nominated by people he appointed to the Penn Hills Democratic Committee. Mr. McAndrew was picked by political insiders. Um, this is the voters have never had a chance to have a primary election. I think they deserve a choice and I'm going to give them that. Calabrese cites her hands-on experience as mayor, now in her second term, and says it's not McAndrew's age that is the issue. I'm not gonna hold that against him, but I do think the voters need to know that he has no prior experience no, no prior experience in public office. Uh, he ran for mayor in Oakmont and did not win that election, so he moved to Penn Hills. I have lived in Penn Hills for about 26 years. He's lived in Penn Hills for about 26 months. McAndrew says his family has lived in Penn Hills since 1955, and he recently bought his great-grandparents' home. As for experience, McAndrew touts his office's work helping 11,000 residents and his subcommittee appointment as a freshman. I was made the subcommittee chair on public transportation. And so overall, I've been focusing very heavily on making sure that my constituents are taken care of, that we have good infrastructure, and that we are moving the ball forward for Pennsylvanians. Democrats will choose between McAndrew and Calabrese on Tuesday. So far, there is no Republican on the ballot, which allows for a write-in candidate including the two Democrats, to win the Republican nomination. John Delano, KDKA TV News.